Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Very much appreciate all of you political vigilantes out there supporting independent media. And this is a very interesting story that's in Newsmax.com. United and Delta Airlines on Saturday uh, both tweeted that uh, notices they will no longer offer discount programs for members of the National Rifle Association. I didn't realize the airlines were doing that, <laughs> um, but I'm glad that they're doing it. I guess it tells, it tells me two things. First of all, it shows you how invasive the NRA is, how much uh, control they have that they were even getting. Why is the National Rifle Association, why were they getting discounts from the airlines? I don't get a discount from the airline. I've flown over a million miles with United Airlines. I get perks for doing that, but just like anybody else in any other business, any airline, if you fly a lot of miles with them, you get perks. I get upgraded more often and I get first crack at the good seats. I get free check bags, all this stuff. Why does the NRA get a discount? Why were they getting a discount? No one's asking it this question, of course, in this article. I mean, good for them for no longer giving the discount, but why is the National Rifle Association getting discounts? Do other companies get, I don't know. Does, does like, does the World Wildlife Federation, do they get a discount? I'm just asking, does the Sierra Club get a discount? Members of the American Red Cross get a discount? Delta was the first to pull out, tweeting at 9.30 a.m. that it was reaching out to the NRA to let them know they will be ending their contract for discounted rates through our group travel program, the airline said in the message. We will be requesting that the NRA remove our information from their website. About 10.30 a.m., United follows suit, tweeting in a similar message that it was notifying the NRA we will no longer offer a discounted rate to their annual meeting, and we're asking that the NRA remove our information from their website. Well, that's good. And here's why it's good, because I say time and time again on this show, vote with your dollars. So had I known <laughs> this airline that I've given a bunch of money to over the last 15, 20 years was discounting the NRA, I would have been furious a long time ago. But this is what you do. If politicians who were bought off by the, the gun lobby aren't going to do anything about it, then pressure other companies. Hit them where it hurts. Vote with your dollars. And it's primarily Republicans, no, do, no two ways about it. But let's not forget, and people are trying to excuse Obama. Oh, he didn't have a super majority back in 2009 and 10 and 11, so he couldn't do it. Bullshit. He didn't even attempt. He publicly said stuff, but he didn't even try to pass laws. Like everyone, the Democrats are just too afraid to do anything. When they had total control, they were too afraid to do anything. So I, I just, I'm just, I'm done making excuses for Obama. Um, he could have passed gun legislation, but Democrats are bought off by the gun lobby too. Not just Republicans. It's definitely more Republicans, but I don't want to hear it. So um, both Delta and United Airlines have been providing the discounts for NRA members to fly to the organization's annual NRA convention being held this May in Dallas, reports Think Progress. United commented that it does not have an affiliation with the NRA, but does offer discounts through its standard meeting agreement process. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Um, Delta at first defended its discounts to Think Progress, saying such offers are routinely made for group with more than 10 people traveling from um, more than two de departure cities, except for weddings and family reunions. The move makes two major airlines, the NATO's companies, to pull back from the NRA after it came under fire for political influence following the Valentine's Day shootings in Parkland, Florida, which claimed 17 lives. The NRA, which with its 5 million members is one of the largest organizations in the country, has partnerships with dozens of businesses, including discounts for car rentals, hotel, branded credit card, and they support murder. And anyone that's a member of them, the reason children get murdered is because of them. Um, National Car Rental Enterprise Alamo all announced this past week they will end their car rental discounts for NRA members. And True Car, a car pricing company, said it's ending a discount program that allowed members to save an average of 3500 for... Why do the fuck do you get a car rental discount? Why the fuck do you get to buy a used car because you own a gun? In addition, First National Bank of Omaha said Thursday it plans to end its business relationship with the organization and would no longer offer NRA branded credit cards. God, you know what this says? It just shows how morally bankrupt this entire country is. They were giving discounts to this organization and didn't, and they, they, they profited from it. 
United, all these companies profited from it. It's like the Harvey Weinstein people. You know, it's like Oprah and, and uh, oh, well, I'm going to stand tall. And it's like, time is up. You knew what was going on. You profited. You got Academy Awards. All those A-list people got Academy. All you companies were profiting from the fucking gun violence in this country and the gun lobby. And now, finally, I want every kid from college on down, let's pick a day. Is it April 20th? Whatever it is. And don't go to school. Go on strike. There's no such thing. The permanent record thing they try to scare you with. If there's any kids watching this show, oh, it's on your permanent record. You know, fuck it. Your permanent record means bullshit. I had 20 detentions my sophomore year of high school. 20. Is that why my videos are getting demonetized? Is because I got detentions in high school? Yeah, I doubt it. It's more corporate bullshit. Walk out. You're not safe. If you're a parent with kids, guess what? Your kids aren't safe. And when banks and airlines and credit card companies and all these other assholes are now, oh, now they get a conscience, they don't give a shit. They're they're, they're getting pressure finally. So find out, since this is what's happening, this is the free ride the NRA's been getting to murder people, um, find out all these other detestable companies and hold them accountable. You don't deserve a discount because you own a gun. You don't deserve a discount. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve to call yourself an American. Call yourself a terrorist. Call yourself a domestic terrorist. That's what you are. So, and I don't care what the NRA has to say. I've heard all of your bullshit talking points. They're all useless. More kids are going to get murdered, by the way. More people are going to die. More senseless gun violence is going to happen until there's gun reform. It's going to keep happening. And giving teachers weapons is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. There was... There was a cop who didn't go in there. He heard. They just. There's another story I did on this guy. I'm going to do a story on this guy. He, he, armed officer at school never entered building during shooting. There was an armed officer at the school, armed, trained, didn't go in there. So now untrained teachers are going to just carry guns. And you think going to a shooting range and taking a gun safety class means you're going to just react like some Navy SEAL. You're out of your mind. A cop didn't go in there. So this cop, his job is to serve and protect, let high school kids get killed. So some of these teenage like junior ROTC cadets and a, and a football coach put their lives on a line, but a cop didn't? And you think giving guns to teachers? Fuck you. And fuck the NRA.